What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Fitness Oracle Minicast series. Today is Throwback Thursdays. And um, like I said yesterday, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit of an interesting story that I had when I went to uh, Cambodia. It was part of a tour. I won't go to certain parts of the world by myself I'll, or I'll get on tours, but I think it's safer that way. Uh, the locals, the, the, the people that they hire on these tours are local, so they know the area a lot better. They tell you, go down this street, but don't go down this street, that street, and yeah, stay away from that street. Oh, here comes this. Oh, it's time for us to, let's get going. We might, or we might find ourselves in a Cambodian prison. I don't think anybody wants to do that. I'm... The first one, they'll tell you that doesn't do not want to be in one of those. So it was, it was interesting because um, before that, I spent uh, we spent about four days in in uh, Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam. It was beautiful. It was amazing. I had such an amazing time. The people in Vietnam are so friendly. They're kind. They're generous. They try to rip you off if you're not careful. So you always have to have your head on a swivel. It, it was, it's, it's lively. It's vibrant. It's young. It was awesome. I loved it. I loved the time there, even though it was like dangerous. Like you, like there's certain parts in Vietnam that you don't want to go to sleep in because you don't know if you're going to wake up with one kidney or you don't even know if you're going to wake up at all. So, but it's like, it's, it's, it's that part. It's that, I don't know. I can't explain it. It's, it's just, and it's rich in history. It, it's, it was, it's a lovely place to go to, but if you do go to Vietnam, please go with a tour with, and a tour guides because they know where to take you. They know what to show you. They know what to tell you not to go to now. And we were always on the road. We were always on the road. It was one from one place to another, to another, to another, to another, to another. And um, it wasn't up until we got to Angkor Wat in Cambodia. I had my, before, before Angkor Wat, I had my rock, my world rocked with uh, S21 prison camp and uh, one of the killing fields in Cambodia. My entire life was completely and utterly rocked. I have not been the same ever since. Just listening to the stories of what they did to children and families in that horrific time, four year time frame. If you do not get rocked after this, you're not a human being to me. And, and please, um, please stop listening to my podcast because you have no soul. I'm not going to get into it because I don't want to live through it again. It was, it was horrendous. It was absolutely horrendous. What some human beings are capable of. And yeah, I'm not going to get into it because we're going to get into politics. And this is not the case of this podcast. The podcast is about giving you solutions to better yourself as a human being. If you've never been to Cambodia, I highly recommend it. Um, it is one of those places that will forever change you as a human being forever change you as a human being. The people of Cambodia are lovely people. They're amazing, kind, generous people. Their history is horrifying from 1970 to 1974. They had an absolutely horrifying history piece of history. I had that. And then we went to Cambodia, which, uh, we, sorry, excuse me, we went to Siem Reap in Cambodia. And we saw, we were walked through Angkor Wat, the ancient site of Angkor Wat. It was beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, 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 gorgeous temple. And um, <laughs> we, we sat down for lunch and it was this, this lovely place. It was, uh, there was this uh, moat, like Angkor Wat is surrounded by a moat. And we were sitting on one side where the main entrance to the temple is. And it was, uh, the, I ordered a um, chicken curry, a red chicken curry. And it was delicious. It became, it was the most amazing thing I've ever experienced in my life because it came in a coconut, like a, a closed coconut. 
and inside it had the, the, the curry. And then they brought the rice separate on a, on a uh, banana leaf. It was the most delicious thing I've ever had in my life. One of the most delicious things. And it was the most unique things because here, here comes this coconut and you open it up and you have this curry inside of it. And when you're taking the curry out to put it on the rice, you're tasting the banana leaf. You're tasting the banana, but the banana from the, from the, from the leaf plus the coconut infusion inside the curry. So it was this amazing, amazing taste. Like my, my mouth is watering where I'm getting with all this. I thought I ordered chicken. They thought they brought me what I thought was chicken. It may have been chicken, may have been something else. And that part of the world, good chance of eating, might be eating something else. Chicken is a com high commodity there. Well, I got sick. I got sick for nine days. It was water coming out of both ends. It was not fun. I couldn't hold down any food for nine days. Every time I tried to eat food, it would come out of my mouth or somewhere else, like water. And you had the combination between, you know, heavy travel, heavy, heavy travel, and plus getting sick. I normally get sick like that for like a weekend and then get better. But because of the heavy travel, because there was such a tax on my body when it came to, you know, 12 hour time difference change zone that uh, ended up to be 13, 14 hour change, uh, time difference to eating something that you thought was one thing and it might have been another or the cook didn't clean his hands properly. I'm just lucky I didn't go to a hospital. But it was hell for nine days. It was literal hell for nine days. I met my brother-in-law in Bangkok, and I was just starting to get better. But um, that was my experience with uh, not resting enough, not giving yourself enough time while resting on going on vacation is that if and when you do get sick, it takes you a lot longer to recover and it could destroy your entire vacation. This is why it's important to give yourself enough time in the beginning so you can adjust at least to the time zone. Because I mean, if you're traveling for 24 hours to get to a location, you're tired, man. You're freaking tired. You're really, really tired. 20 hours on a plane is a long flight. So that's that. Just make sure that, like I said, like you give yourself enough time to recover during, while before the tour happens. If you're doing a tour, if you're going to an exotic location like Thailand, Vietnam, uh, India, wherever, Dubai, wherever you want to go, you know, just give yourself enough time beforehand so you can readjust to the time zone, Europe, whatever. Um, for Throwback Thursday, I know at the beginning of the week, we, we, we discussed that we're gonna, I'm going to be releasing a new uh, episode that we did in the past. I'm um, still trying to get that in order. So we will be releasing something in the short future, maybe next month, uh, when we have a proper schedule going on, going on for now, we're just going to be doing this. Tomorrow, we're going to be talking about chilling out, the importance of hanging out, especially during the summertime. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.